All right, welcome everyone. In this video, we are going through the mock interview. Uh, with me, I have Jamin Pathak, and uh, he will be the interviewer, and I'll be the candidate. So he will ask me, uh, you know, questions, and I'll have to answer that. All right. So let's get started. But make sure before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you are an existing subscriber, press the bell icon so that you get notified. All right. So let's get started. Hi, Jamin. How are you? I'm good, Rajesh. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, Rajesh, uh, today I have a question on DSCP. Okay. What is DSCP and how does it work? So, uh, DSCP is a uh, uh, you know uh, it's it's used to dynamically assign the IP address to all the endpoints or the computers in the network. Okay. So usually. Uh, it, it works on the client and server model. And what happened is the process involved, in short, we call it as DORA process, where first the computer, which is being connected, send the uh, discover message, the DSCP discover message. It's like a broadcast message. So this message goes to all the computers in the LAN network, in the same LAN network. Okay? Now this goes, goes to everywhere, and the DSCP server then respond and uh, you know gives the uh, information about the system itself and the respond with the information so this uh with the all the uh information it's called offer message so dscp offer message that's a part of dora next we have a client which sends the request message saying that yes i'm ready for it Please send me all the, all these information, including the subnet mask, IP address, default gateway, DNS information, and everything. So once the client sends the uh, request message, finally the DSCP server send the acknowledgement. Uh, that's the that's how the entire process get completed. And uh, uh, yeah, so that's how the entire Dora process and DSCP process works. And finally. Uh, with the system gets the IP address without manually and statically configuring it on the machine. So that's very, very important. Think about a loud, large network where we have thousands or uh, thousands of devices in the network. So manually configuring all of them and managing the subnetting and IPAM and everything, it's very difficult. So deep with DSCP is possible. But enterprise go a step beyond. They use this IPAM tool uh, tools like uh, Nets, uh, tools like InfoBlox, and with this tool, they can even reserve the IP address to a specific MAC address. That's called MAC address binding. Uh, this is even possible with the Microsoft-based servers, where we have DSCP reservation possible as well. So th that's that's DSCP. Yeah. Okay, got it. So on which port this DSCP works? Well, so DSCP, uh, there are two ports basically. The port, uh, both ports work on the UDP itself. First one is the 67. There's another port called 68. 67 is used by the DSCP servers to listen to the uh, DSCP client request. And the uh, port number 68 is used by the client to send the DSCP discover message. So if, when we open the Wireshark, we can actually visualize which one is sent by whom? So that that become very clear over there. Yeah. Got it. So mm -hmm. Rajneesh, uh, what is DSCP spoofing then? Well, uh, the it's it's attacker basically. It's it's an basically an attack where the attacker can spoof the DSCP server uh, response to distribute incorrect IP address. Uh, configuration and incorrect default gateway, subnet mask, DNS information, so that all the traffic can be rerouted to the uh, you know uh, malicious default gateway. Okay, so that, that's basically a way to in, intercept the traffic, eavesdrop, or modify the request. And um, so yeah, that, that's DSCP spoofing. The solution is the mitigation strategy is very straightforward, used by or as a part of best practices. All the Cisco switches, Juniper switches, Arista switches are mostly configured with DSCP snooping. 
which allows switches to verify the legitimate DSCP server responses. So that's how they verify, okay, from this port or from this switch, the DSCP server is sending all the responses. So this is, this is the uh, switch from where I should be expecting the DSCP server response. And th that's how they mitigate. So the solution is DSCP snooping. Yeah. Okay. So, Pratish, mm. yeah, this is all I have for today. Thank you. All right. So thank you so much, Jim. I mean, yeah. So we are, we are done with this interview session, guys. If you have any question, do let us know in the comment section below. We would love to help you out. This is me, Rajneesh Gupta, with Jamin Bhattak. Bye for now.